Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. I am coming down the tour path the same way that everyone does when they finish their tour at Big Cat Rescue. And the last thing they see before they go up into the gift shop is this beautiful tribute to Mickey Cougar. And all you're seeing is my reflection because it's such shiny granite. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a different angle on it here. Yeah, that's better. So this is his tree. It's uh, Arika Palm and his ashes are buried below the tree. And then Marlene and Lauren Lynn donated this gorgeous plaque. You can see the size of that thing. It's absolutely huge. When it first came in, which was last Tuesday, I had just got through filming Camilla in the kitten cabana, poor little Camilla. And then I told Karma I gotta come into the gift shop and be sure and film the uncrating of this great gift from Marlene and Lauren Lynn. And then the next thing that happened on my phone was videoing Andy and Clover Bobcats in the hospital. But I don't know what happened to the video of the uncrating. I, I had forgotten until today that Luana said that she had asked me not to post it because she wanted to do a big book and tribute and everything to Mickey, but she was trying to finish up with Joseph's tributes. So maybe I tucked it up hold or somewhere, but I just, I can't remember what I did this morning, much less what I did last Tuesday. So I have looked in the trash, I've looked on my phone, I've looked on my computer hard drive, and I'm just not finding that video of the unboxing anywhere. And it's so weird that I have both, well, I have a bunch of videos either side of it on that same day. So that's weird, but I don't know if this is a better angle or not. But anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys for this beautiful tribute. And I saw that Catherine and Mama Becky are out feeding cats. So I thought you guys might want to see that. Turn around here. Cat Crusaders is a domestic cat rescue group. They do feral cats and foster kittens and all kinds of stuff. They're good with And once a year they have their volunteer appreciation party. And so this today <laughs> was their day. And they had it at the party house at the sanctuary. So I was out there doing that most of the morning. My stabilizer is acting really wonky. I couldn't get it to come on. And now that it's on, it doesn't want to point in my direction. Also, you guys know um, that after Tuesday, when all that stuff was happening, then I was gone all day on Wednesday. I was up in Gainesville speaking to the North American Primate Sanctuary Alliance. And I only had a 20 minute spot to speak in and was speaking on 21 ways to earn money for your sanctuary. And they liked it so much, they asked if I would do an all day seminar. But that's expensive for people to have to fly in from all around the country. And if I do it on a webinar, <laughs> they're gonna die of boredom. <laughs> they have to watch it all day. They have to watch me all day. So today at animaltalk.tv, animaltalk.tv, I started creating a website where I can post all of that information and then only the accredited sanctuaries will be able to access it. And so I think that's going to work out a whole lot better and that way they can pick the things they want to learn more about and not be bored with things they don't want to learn about. Beautiful Natalia, I just got to stop for a minute because you're so gorgeous. Let's find Catherine and Becky. I've been trying to check in on Running Bear. I know he's been very sad since losing Little White Dove. And he's got one of those big bins. It's like 8 feet by 12 feet. And I just can't see him in there. So my guess is that's where he is. Because we're not seeing him at any of the normal places.
she's having a hard time getting Riza out of her den. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with that cougar? <laughs> she doesn't know what's good. Well, I can hear Max purring from here. <laughs> so Hi. Becky's headed back to give Mac his treat. Hi. He's been very happy because today was a day with Matt. Right. Had his time with Matt Lori said only two people called today while she was manning the phones. Was it really quiet at the sanctuary? or? Yeah, I don't know if you heard it. it was pretty quiet today, actually. Huh. I don't know how it was in the gift shop. Elisa would know better, but it was pretty quiet today. I guess I wasn't supposed to say he was purring because then he hissed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Ratted Hello. you out. Yeah, being really weird. Yeah, her ears are flat. I don't know what's going on with her. She's acting scared of the stick. Wow, that's Come not here. unusual. Come here, baby. Oh, I mean, she's cowering. Oh. Cowering away from it. Go give that stick what for. You just tear it up. Come here, baby girl. You okay? You try. Show it what for. <laughs> That's the Riza we know and love. That is the Riza. That's normal. <laughs> you show that stick what for. And the longer the stick, the crabbier she is. <laughs> but she, that one's very strange. It's all right, pretty. Well, I heard she got quite jealous of all the attention Mac was getting from Mac. Uh-oh. I mean, her ears were flat. And it's all right, baby girl. What's this? You're all right. It's all right. All right. Well, let's see if I the eye. We certainly wish these cats could go free, but unfortunately, when they have been born in cages, they are doomed to live in cages the rest of their lives. We do bobcat rehab and release from bobcats who have come from the wild because it's legal to release them back to the wild once they're healthy enough. But we can't do it with cats who were born in cages, which is why we ask everybody who can to contact their member of Congress and ask them to champion the Big Cat Public Safety Act. That would ban the private possession of these cats so that people aren't breeding them for life in prison. There's a whole page about that at bigcatrescue.org slash go free. <clears throat> Lauren, thank you for posting the link to Big Cat Act. They say you are magnifique. Yes, that describes you very well. I just passed by Gilligan. He was sacked out on his side. It's bigcatact.com. And Deb, thank you for posting the link to bigcatrescue.org slash go free. Yeah, we don't breed these cats. Anywhere that you see cats living together here, they're spayed or neutered or both to make sure that we don't do any breeding. just don't recognize it. <laughs> They're like, who are you? <laughs> I gotta use the long stick for Diablo. What? Yeah. That's crazy talk. Oh, I know. Maybe they don't recognize us in a new color. It doesn't seem like it's that different from No, maybe. I would think that it would look pretty close. And I thought all they cared about was whether we had food or not. <laughs> <laughs> not what color shirt. There was a dress code and we didn't know it. <laughs>
How are they doing in the hospital? Oh, uh, they're doing good. Clover is, she is a wild bobcat, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but she is not easy to deal with in a confined space. <laughs> it took me and Lauren to get her to shift so she could clean her today. Because all they want to do is hold their ground. It's like, oh, I just dare you. <laughs> It took a while, but she finally backed herself into the squeeze cage, and then we could close the door and clean out her big section. Oh, but she goodness. was holding her ground. For those who don't know why the cats are in the hospital, Clover had a abscess tooth. She has a deformed set of teeth, apparently from a birth defect. She was born in the wild, so no telling what was going on there. Sometimes you get very isolated pockets of cats, and they become very inbred and this tooth was starting to abscess and so she had a big hole in the side of her face from the abscess so the vet had to take the tooth hey sundari <coughs> and then andy bobcat is like 21 years old i think and um she had acted really weird like she she has a favorite platform that she gets up on all the time and she fell trying to get up on it and so she acted like she was blind for a few days and the vet thinks maybe she just had a stroke that had some kind of impact on her brain but she seems to be doing better and better so she'll be going back outside soon we hope oh dear they got through with diablo i didn't take you over to see diablo he's a savannah cat and really really shy so he thinks there's trouble if <laughs> more than one person comes over to feed him like one's gonna feed him and one's gonna catch him so I always stay back when I do him. That's where Diablo lives, right there. Both of those cages that are joined by a tunnel. Yes, we think Clover is still a candidate for release, even though she had to have a couple of teeth removed on the one side. She's got enough others on that side that she should do just fine. She's been doing fine with her hunting in the rehab cage, and even though she came here with a missing canine, and that was one of them that had abscessed because it was like way up in her cheekbone, and it was never going to come down on the right spot. If anything, it was going to come out the side of her face, maybe, or through the roof of her mouth. So. That was removed, but even without that canine, she's been able to capture her prey just fine. Bobcats are really, really tough. Yeah, that was released to a rescue center. I'm not sure what you're talking about. We are, we are the rescue center that the bobcats have been coming to. We haven't sent any to another rescue center. I've never seen a cat drop a piece so many times in the leaves. Then he doesn't want to eat it because there's leaves on it. <laughs> he gets like to draw out the amount piece. of time that you stay with him. That's true. <laughs> I didn't 
realize how bad the color correction is on this camera, but it looks like, doesn't it look like she's wearing a bright blue shirt? It does, you're right. It looks blue, not purple. That's so weird. Huh. It's like royal blue. Yeah. Those are purple shirts. Here we're all talking about <laughs> purple, purple shirts, shirts, and they're like, those doesn't, are not purple, man. Doesn't look like a purple shirt. <laughs> those people don't know what purple is. <laughs> likes it to be just right before dusk. Yes. Which is getting later and later. Yes. Yeah, people were laughing about but that. But usually Facebook. this is a little too early for him, but and they're like, did Zabu bag for trees? And I said she always does, but she's not pushy about it. So like, yeah, yeah. But how could you say no to that face? Hi. I can say no to that belly. I know. There's a new letter to management about calling her round and fluffy and Oh, <laughs> she is fluffy though. Her man spoke up for her. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mr. Skinny Butt over there. Yeah. He likes his girls fluffy. Hi, the fluff. I know. No. We love you, Pooh. Yeah. She said, no, you don't. You're not chasing parts as much as you used to. You gotta burn some calories. <laughs> she says it's too hot, people. What's wrong with you? It's too hot. <laughs> She's like, I'm too old for that. One of the interns asked me today, she goes, I want to ask you something about cats. One of the Texas tigers was chasing the car. And she was standing there talking to them afterwards, I guess. And she's like, would it be all right if I like ran so they run with me? I said, no. <laughs> I said, Arthur and Andre have very bad arthritis. I do not need to be running. Don't want to do that. That's you, like teasing. You do not need to have the 22 year old cat she running. Goes, Why did I ask first? <laughs> I thought that was in our training. It is, yes. It is. But at least she didn't do it, you know? <laughs> they're asking how old Zebu is. I'm thinking she's 18. Yeah, she was, yeah. they were born in 2000, right? Oh. Yeah, something like that. 2000 or 2001, so yeah, she's got to be 18. So if you multiply that by six, that's roughly what they would be if they were people. Ooh, got old. Got an old girl. Yeah, they can't get the nutrition they need from vegetables. Are you ready to eat something, love bud? Huh? He says, did you bring me more of them Cornish game hens? No, I did not. Aww. I need to. I was at the Walmart today, too. I could have gotten well, some. Well, and they I have the forgot. small ones. Yeah. And you know how he likes little stuff? He does which like Which is little weird, stuff. because he doesn't like little turkey drums. He likes those gigantic brontosaurus uh -huh. ones. But he likes, like, little legs. And All right. Necks. I'll have to go get some corn game hens. 
because that's not expensive at all. <laughs> no, not one bit. A lion meal of Cornish Freeman. Not one bit. That's not pricey one bit. <laughs> Cornish Game Hens. Well, you know, at Walmart, they're pretty cheap. <laughs> they are, yes. They're like less than three bucks. That's true. And he's only going to eat one occasionally <laughs> because he never eats things two days in a row. <laughs> There's always that. He never eats things two days in a row. <laughs> Will I do cami? Or we can just wait. And I'll go help her see if I can't move. I don't know how she stays so white given the fact that they love to roll in the dirt so much. Carol, you all right if we break off and go try to catch Sure. All right. I'll go where the action is. <laughs> well, Arthur's probably going to eat because he didn't eat anything. What do you guys think? Is he gonna get up? Oh, and of course he says, oh, here we go. Hi, baby. Hi. Don't you close your eyes on me. Oh, your tongue is in the dirt, honey. What's going on? He'll lay his tongue in the dirt, but not his food. Exactly. It's gotta be his idea. Gary, we never pet the cats here because that's just rude. In the wild, these guys would never allow us to touch them. And if we do it in captivity, then it makes people think that that's okay to do. And it's just not. That always ends up in abuse. So we're not going to do anything here that's going to put the cat's life in danger. If they were to bite one of us, even if we said we didn't want it to happen, the CDC could force us to cut their head off and test for rabies. So that would just be really, really reckless to take their lives into no consideration like that by satisfying our selfish desire to put our hands all over them. And they don't want us touching them. They're wild animals. Some people ask about the cats who had been pets before and want to know, well, you know, don't they miss being petted if they were pets before they came here? And they don't. There's a whole page about that at bigcatrescue.org forward slash don't they miss being petted. And there's dashes between all of those last words. It just kills me when other people who sometimes are doing actually good work in other ways will post a picture of themselves touching a big cat or a bear or a gorilla or whatever. And they do it because they want people to think they're special, but the truth of the matter is all that does is promote all of the breeding and pimping out of the cubs and discarding. So it's a horrible thing to do and anytime I see it I call people out on it. Diana, thank you for posting that very long URL. Well, okay. Are we ready? Are we ready for the big mammer jammer? Well, this is his favorite. You gotta come closer because I can't. <laughs> He's just I'm barely not leaning his in. nose forward. You gotta come get it. <laughs> you got it? All right, put your paws together. Oh, are you going to take it off? You going to come share it with me? <laughs> no. <gasps> I'm going to lay it here in the grass where it won't get dirt on it. It's a good plan, Cameron. That works good. Oh, well. They're asking how Zeus is doing. Do you know if he ate this morning? Um, I think he ate a little over a pound. So he ate a little bit over a pound, Becky says. He ate about four pounds yesterday total. He likes it when it's a little bit cooler. Yeah. He would like to reverse the season, I think. Start going back into cool again. How am 
going to get that bone out of there, Cameron. I'm pretty sure he just said that's your problem. All right, let's go see if Catherine and Linda are having any success. Is it Linda? I wasn't paying attention to who brought the bucket. more peaceful without Amanda in the middle of it. It is, yes. This is a much more peaceful situation. Yeah? <laughs> you can see her back in the background. They had her locked over in one of the other lockouts over there. Sister helping. They're on vacation right now in the two and a half acre vacation rotation, but they've called the tigers into the roof section to feed them. There she, you can see her coming out of the den back there. Oh, you're all chuffy now, huh? You keep going. You keep going. You keep going. Andre. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come in here. Don't knock your brother over. He's like having a hard time standing up. Here. Come on, Andre. These guys are 22 years old and they are on pain medication for their arthritis. And one of them is new to getting pain meds and so he's still a little unsteady on his feet. He hasn't Come quite on, figured bud. out how to walk while he's on pain drugs. Good job. There you go. Good job. No, huh? scrolling on the comments, but I'm not seeing better on my screen as a result. And I have to be careful about scrolling on the comments because if I flinch, 
it brings it up and asks me if I want to delete or ban that person. I don't want to do that. I think it's gabapentin or maybe tramadol. Oh. Yeah, they do drink a lot because they have those aging, aging kidneys. Twenty-two years old. All right, there. Come here, bud. I know, it's crazy, isn't it, Cindy? Yeah, they'll be on that for the rest of their lives because arthritis is not going to get better unless they find some miracle cure. wired to live 10 or 12 years in the wild, so that's what their bodies are typically designed to survive and be super healthy before some other cat kills into their territory. But in captivity, they live longer. Here at Big Cat Rescue, they live a whole lot longer than just about anywhere else, usually into their late teens and early 20s. We have 20 cats right now who are over the age of 20. You just won't find that anywhere else. How'd it go? <laughs> you got it back. Yeah, he was complaining because it was in, it was it had grass on it. He's the one who took it there. But they have a really long scraper around the side that they use for all down the back. And uh, I had to go get it. <laughs> oh, gosh.
Sherry, a bunch of our volunteers just came back from India. I think 12 of them went to see tigers in the wild and they were just amazed at how many they saw. I think they saw like 12 tigers in 11 days or something. It's really great. <laughs> oh, there you are. Kathy, we never touch them unless it's like they've been sedated for a medical purpose and we have to carry them to the table or something. Because it sends the wrong message. These guys are not pets. And if we're touching them, it makes people think that they can have them as pets or it makes people want to go out and touch them. And that's just what drives all of the abuse in this country, actually around the world, is people paying to have their pictures made with cubs. So, no. <laughs> Anybody gets caught touching a cat here, they are thrown off the property and then they're allowed to come back. That's how strongly we feel about it. Here we go. <clears throat> Is she still out there? She just went around the long way for um, Uber. Uber. You want me to yell? It just took some artful maneuvering. Just a little maneuvering. A little bit of maneuvering. This is our neighbor puppy.
I'll go let her know. her out with some short sticks if she's in a spot where she can be feeding Cooper with a shorter one. Because I was going to go back because he was in the den, but he came out, so <laughs> the long one's been kind of hard. <laughs> well, if he acts like he's done, if I'm not liking that part. You can't be done. Please forgive the bumpiness. I'm having to walk faster than usual. Don't want her to miss him being awake. she's having any more success with Hoover. Getting my steps in today. Difficult. Are you being difficult? <laughs> Who's all tapping? You're all tapping. Was Cameron Lyon roaring in the background? All right, are we ready? Let's go. Hey, let's get a few more pieces, okay? Oh, good boy. That's a good boy.
we got. Got a couple more thighs. Your favorite. Yeah. Left is drumsticks and turkey thighs. What do you think? Drumstick? Drumstick? I haven't offered him that same one three times. <laughs> How about another piece? What do you think? He's doing really well tonight. You're a champ tonight, aren't you? Watch out. <laughs> yeah, he don't like you to take anything out of his enclosure. Hoover, come here. Hoover. Hoover. No, don't you count her. Don't you count her. Look over here. Look over here. Everybody's saying you did great. Well, last night he wouldn't eat hardly anything for me. You like the purple shirts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night.